One of the most compelling mysteries besides what happened before the Big Bang or how life began is the question of what killed the Neanderthals. Seriously, what was it? Hey everyone, Julia here for DNews. Neanderthals have captured our imagination since they were first discovered in 1856 in a cave in Neander Valley near Dusseldorf, Germany. They weren't human, but they were just so much like us. We share a common ancestor with Neanderthals about 500,000 years ago. And like us, they came out of Africa and made their way across Europe and Asia, but long before we did, perhaps as early as 230,000 years ago, while humans didn't leave Africa until 60,000 years ago. We know a few things about them, like ancient humans weren't all that different from them or better than the Neanderthals. I know it's tempting to say that they were just stupid apes and our superior brains drove them to extinction, but that might not be the case. We're both smart and social creatures. Neanderthals made sophisticated tools and made cave paintings just like early humans. There's evidence that they could plan ahead and maybe even talk like us. They were not stupid guys with big foreheads. What happened to them? At most, there might have been only 70,000, but that number could have been a lot smaller. By Dating bones, researchers think Neanderthals' population shrank around 50,000 years ago. This left them in small, isolated groups. Some estimates think there could have been as few as a couple thousand females of reproductive age. This was, maybe coincidentally, maybe not, around the time when Homo sapiens arrived on the scene. The two groups probably interbred a little bit. One to two percent of modern human DNA is from Neanderthals. All right, cool, so two groups mixing and mingling. What could go wrong? Well, something happened around 45,000 years ago. In 5,400 years, Neanderthals vanished. There are two events that happened around that same time that may have wiped out the already weakened Neanderthals population. A volcano near Naples, Italy erupted and blanketed the surrounding areas with ash. Some researchers think that this caused a volcanic winter in Europe. This cooling climate in Europe could have damaged ecosystems just enough to knock out the fading Neanderthals. Another idea proposed by anthropologist Pat Shipman is that modern humans put the final nail in the Neanderthal's coffin. She compared humans arriving on the scene to an invasive species. Just like kudzu, a vine that's taking over the south, outcompeting native species for food and resources, that's just what humans did. Humans' advantages weren't that many. Early humans had a lower metabolic weight and used different kinds of weapons, projectile rather than handheld, but this was just enough to tip the balance in our favor. She also put forward an interesting idea, that maybe it was the domestication of dogs that gave humans the upper hand. Once humans trained dogs for hunting, it was simply too good of a team for the Neanderthals to beat. Dogs could have helped humans track down prey and even protect that carcass from other predators. Shipman calls the dynamic duo of humans and dogs a fatal innovation. Most research seems to suggest that what had killed off our Neanderthal cousins wasn't a singular event, but a complex process that happened over a couple of millennia. Maybe we'll never know, but we can sure keep trying to figure it out, because science. All right, humans, what's your favorite hypothesis on what killed off the Neanderthals? Let us know down in the comments below. Was it bunnies? Was it volcanoes? Seriously, bunnies is a hypothesis out there. While you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. We've got new stuff going up every day of the week.